Hello Cancer, this is Renee and welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are returning, welcome and thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support. I appreciate you so very much. This reading will be for Cancer for 2023. What can Cancer expect next for 2023? What is coming in for Cancer this year? Okay. <clears throat> we have the Hermit. And we have the Queen of Swords. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. Many changes coming in for Cancer. We have the Page of Swords. We have the sun. Okay. <clears throat> I'm feeling a lot of changes and many blessings for Cancer for 2023. We have the star. And we have the hangman. We have the Five of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. Okay. <clears throat> At the bottom of the deck, what you may not see is the Queen of Wands. So yeah, you are very attractive. I feel like you are really focusing on yourself in 2023. You may be changing the way you do your hair. You may be um, taking a lot more time to build yourself up. Um, maybe losing weight, maybe gaining weight, you know, whatever your build is. Um, but I feel like you are much more attractive in 2023. You're more assertive, more vibrant, more just fiery in nature. And I really feel like that's really coming through in this reading. Just one moment. <sighs> I have to get some glasses so I can see. Okay. Okay, Cancer. Now, let's start. You have the Queen of Swords and the Hermit. So I feel like, you know, you are going to find out a lot of truths in 2023. I feel like the truth is coming out. You're finding answers to questions you may not have known the answers to in 2022 but i feel like you are learning a lot things are becoming more clear you're taking a lot of time out for yourself um i feel like with this hermit card and you also have the star you know the hermit he normally is carrying a lantern in his card and he normally has the star inside the lantern so i feel like you are being guided by the spirit into a certain direction in your life. I feel like that's bringing a lot of healing, a lot of um, nourishment to your soul. Get cancer. So I feel like you are really being enlightened at this time. And I feel like 2023 is going to bring a lot of change. This is going to be your thought processes 
changing. You're getting new perspectives. You're taking on different views. You may have beliefs that you were instilled in you as a child and you're I feel like you're letting go of some of those beliefs. You you realize that some of those things may not serve you as an adult as they did as a child. You don't no longer just accept anybody's opinion as fact. You're kind of digging into it for the details. You're taking on a different perspective. And I feel like this is changing. This is changing you internally and externally. I feel like you'll be going through a lot of changes this year. And I feel like it's all for your greater good. I feel like this is going to be a very abundant year. This is going to be this is going to be the best year yet. Cancer. You have the sun. So I feel like with all of these cards together, I feel like you are going to be very happy, very fulfilled. You're making your goals. You're creating new goals and you're succeeding. You have success, abundance. You have healing and balance. I feel like you're really putting in the work. There's a lot of major arcana here um, with the hermit, the sun, the star, the hangman, and the will of fortune. So I feel like these changes are going to be very important to your life. And these changes are going to set the pattern for where you go from 2023 on to the next uh, year or the next five years or the next 10 years. So I feel like this is like the, the stepping stones. These are the building blocks that you are setting up in order to make those next steps. And I feel like you are gaining so much knowledge you're gaining the wisdom. You're seeing a different perspective. And all this is bringing more harmony, more balance into your life. I feel like you are no longer holding on to things that you know just don't serve you anymore, that aren't for your greater good. Um, now, that can be people. That can be places, that can be things, that can also be job or career. But I feel like you just aren't hanging on to things that just don't serve you. You're not. You're letting those go because you know that what is in store for you is much better than what has left. And we see that with the King of Cups. With the King of Cups, we see that you are becoming more grounded, more supported, you're becoming a true leader. Um, I feel like you. this also may be you. Since you have the king and the queen here. They're not the same suit. But the queen, she brings a lot of clarity. She brings a lot of truth. This may be your counterpart here. Um, the queen of swords coming in to steal the, the king of cups heart right from underneath him. You also have the Three of Pentacles. So Cancer, I feel like you're going to be working with a team. You're going to be working with someone. You're going to be collaborating with someone who is going to help build your success. This is going to help gain this abundance that you have with this Sun card. Um, I also feel like with the three of pentacles, I feel like you're being supported. And I feel like whatever work that you're putting into making your future happen is flowing with success. I feel like you are, you're putting in not just the work, but you're putting in the quality work that will bring you success in the end. I feel like you're really flourishing, Cancer. Okay, let's get some let's get some clarity for the new year for cancer. Let's get some outcome for cancer. 
This is a wonderful reading. Let's get some more clarity on the situation. What is this Queen of Swords and Hermits? What answers are coming for Cancer that he may not be or she may not be aware of? Oh, you have the Three of Swords in reverse. This has been coming out in reverse a lot. So I feel like a lot of you are really mending your heart. You're going through healing. You're unbreaking your heart. Um, this may be you focusing more on yourself and not about what was lost. Um, but I feel like the answers are coming to you about some kind of relationship that you had that left you feeling doubtful, insecure, that left you unbalanced or heartbroken. Um, I feel like those answers are coming to you about this situation. And you have the Five of Wands. So, you know what, with the Five of Wands, I feel like you are very competitive this year. I feel like you are really a go-getter. You're being very assertive. Um, sorry about that. <clears throat> I feel like you are, you're really putting in the work. You're overcoming your obstacles. Uh, but I also feel like you work hard, you play hard. So I feel like you're taking time out to be a playful person, um, to have fun, to really enjoy your life with this Five of Wands in the Sun. You have the Page of Wands. <clears throat> so this could be some kind of information um, that would be coming in, maybe about work, but I feel like this is more information that you've been waiting for. This may be a new project or a new idea that's coming to you. I feel like this is the beginning of some kind of new creativity that you have. You also have the King of Wands. Yes. So I know that you're very fiery. You're very outgoing. Um, I feel like you're gaining more confidence. You're putting in that spark that only you can put into a situation. Um, <laughs> I feel like you are really going for what you know, Cancer. You are really taking the reins from the chariot and you're moving into this beautiful, beautiful uh, new year. So I feel like you're moving. And I'm surprised that the chariot didn't come out. But you have the Eight of Cups. So yeah, I feel like you're walking into your fulfillment. You're walking away from things that no longer serve you. And you're walking into your Nine of Cups situation. You're walking into your fulfillment this year. You also have the High Priestess. So I feel like whatever secrets or mysteries that you were pondering on in 2022, I feel like those mysteries and those secrets, those are going to be solved. And I feel like you are, you're using your, your intuition, your gut feelings. You're going with the flow of things. Um, really beautiful, beautiful um, creative ideas. And what you don't see on the bottom is the Page of Cups. Now that brings our count to three pages. So you definitely have communication coming in. Now this Page of Swords, this communication can be communication that maybe brings on a new job, new money, and news of money. Um, it's also bringing out your curiosity. The Page of Wands, this is your a beginning to new creative ideas. This is, uh, this could be communication relating to a job, relating to some kind of creative project that you're a part of. This could also be communication coming through that's very passionate, very, very fiery. And you have the Page of Cups. 
So this is definitely some kind of communication of new love. I feel like new love is coming in for you, Cancer. There's not a whole lot of love in this reading, but we do have the king and we do have the queen. So if you're not in a relationship, this may spark the beginning of a new relationship sometime this year. Okay, Cancer. Beautiful energy for you, Cancer. I'm really, really happy and excited for you for the new year. Let's get some oracle cards for Cancer. What oracle cards do we have for Cancer for 2023? Vanity. Definitely. That's exactly what I thought. I thought you were working on your appearance. You're changing certain things about your appearance. I feel like you are you are becoming more attractive. And not that you're not already attractive, but I feel like people are really noticing you because of some certain changes that you're making and complacency. Okay, so I feel like, you know, and you also have wisdom on the bottom. So like this is kind of hangman energy here. So I feel like with this complacency, I feel like you're you're kind of pondering on things that may have happened in 2022. And but I feel like in 2022, it's brought you so much more wisdom for 2023. I feel like you're much wiser coming into this year. You're making better decisions. You're really looking out for yourself and your needs. Okay, what else do we have for Cancer for 2023? What else do we have for Cancer, please? <clears throat> yeah, we have Shining Through. So I definitely feel like, you know, when you walk into a room, you're shining. You are, like I said, people are noticing you. Your personality, your strengths, your attractiveness is all shining through. Um, I, like I said, I feel like this is definitely your year, Cancer. Great and full. This is um, Ace of Cups energy here. So yeah, there, there's definitely new love coming in sometime this year. And I feel like this is also happiness and contentment. This is also good health and good family. So, yeah, I feel like everything's going to be great and full this year, um, Cancer. And you also have on the bottom the Oracle's gift. So, yeah, there's a gift coming through for you. Someone's going to give you a gift. And this could be a gift of wisdom, a gift of, of something that's very valuable to your life. Um, not maybe not something of monetary value but it's something that's going to nourish your soul okay what architect card do we have for cancer what architect card do we have for cancer please okay okay we have enema Munde. And we have Apocalypse. Okay, so yeah, this is like the death card. So <clears throat> Apocalypse. Um, and I'm sorry, I know I didn't say that right. It's funny. But I feel like this is your true transformation. This is you making these huge changes that you're making. And this is you... Um, Anima Mundi, this is what that means is you're taking on your animal spirit. You have courage, you have strength. So this is your strength. You also may be one who really enjoys being around animals, who um, maybe likes to be around animals more than people. But <clears throat> this is you connecting with your animal spirit. So you may want to look up what your animal spirit is and see what those strengths and what those abilities are. And if you find out after you look them up, post them in the comments. I'm very interested to know what you find out. 
what your animal spirit is. But I feel like this is a very powerful reading, Cancer. Okay, we've got... I've only been taking two, but we've got three. So we'll go ahead and take all of these. Okay, Cancer. New Moon and Virgo. Trust all will be well. Yes, trust that everything is going to work out the way it's supposed to and the way it was intended to work out. And New Moon and Libra. Know you are loved. Yeah, I really feel like you're going to have new love this year. New love is going to be coming in very strong. And you have first quarter moon in Scorpio. Release your blocks. And I feel like you're working on that. I feel like you're really releasing things that you know no longer have a place in your life. Uh, they're not giving you anything that provides you support anything that is for your greater good, anything that builds you up for your future. You want to release your blocks, anything that's blocking you from gaining your success. Okay, Cancer, this is what I have for you for 2023. Now, if you resonate with this reading, please like and subscribe. Ring that bell. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. For more clarity, I'm going to have the January readings up very soon. And um, have a wonderful new year, Cancer. Many blessings to you. Love and light.